Hey, what's up street gods? It's Eric Kim from the Eric Kim Street Photography God. So I wanted to give you guys a quick review of the new Adobe Lightroom CC. So for those of you guys who are unfamiliar with the new Adobe Lightroom CC, it's essentially the Creative Cloud version. And I'm personally a huge fan of it. They've created the architecture from ground up. There's so many different, um, they've essentially simplified the process and the workflow for using the iPad, your iPhone, and also syncs with your desktop. So I'm just gonna give you guys a quick overview of essentially what I like about it, how I use it, and so forth. So first things first, in the top right corner where there's that little T looking thing, by, by default, keep it no filter. And if you're gonna look, look through your pictures, there are different ways to um, organize and look through your images. So Generally, what I like to do is, in the top right corner, there's grid view. You can make it flat, segmented. I kind of like the segmented view because it allows you to look at your pictures according to date, so like November 11th, November 12th, or you could sort it by capture date. I just keep these all by detail, um, by default, but usually I like the segmented view. And let's look through some pictures that I shot on November 12th. So let's say there's a bunch of pictures I shot of this woman looking through them one by one. I'm just kind of swiping, looking through these one by one. And essentially, we saw this lady with a neck tattoo, with a cross, and I thought that was pretty awesome. Shot this from a low angle with a flash with the Ricoh GR version two. And I'm essentially working the scene, taking a lot of different pictures of her laughing and stuff, but I kind of like the one of her turning around. So in order to flag it, in the bottom right corner, there's that little star. So you can see that little star, I'm touching that. And on the bottom, you know, you, I could do, add five stars, one star, whatever it may be, or you could press the pick or the X. Generally, what I recommend to do is, if you're gonna look through your pictures really easily, you can just scroll up, swipe up, and swipe down to select these different modules. So you can see here, I've actually swiped up, which means that I picked the shot. And let's say I really like the shot, then I'll five star it. And now I, what I could do is I could go back in the pot, top left corner to go back through my series of images, see the, the pictures that I shot that I, that I also like. So some different pictures that I've shot here in Berlin. So I could go through the pictures one by one, I'm essentially scrolling through the images. And yeah, I think it looks, I think it looks pretty, pretty cool and pretty dope. And one thing that I really, really love about the new um, the new version of Adobe Lightroom uh, Creative Cloud is in the top right corner. There are these new little presets. And I'm actually a huge fan of this new matte preset. It looks really beautiful. And also this punchy detail. So these are all just essentially presets from um, the Adobe's built. And these are just being applied to my default JPEG images. And you can see you could just apply that matte filter and bada bing bada boom, it's already pretty much good. And to export it in the top right corner where there's that little um, share button and make sure in the bottom right corner I click done. Top right corner where there's a little share button. Then I could do save to camera roll, click maximum available, and then it's going to be shared to my photos. Look at my photos and boom, here it is. Pretty, pretty awesome. And if I wanted to upload to my blog, click Safari, um, let's say new posts. Let's say I did a blog post like review of Adobe Lightroom CC for iPad. And then I could add this, upload this image from the photo library, all photos, click her. Okay. In the bottom right corner, click insert into post. Yeah, that looks pretty good. And then let's say I could add some text, say Adobe Lightroom CC for iPad is awesome. Whatever it may be. But anyways, the reason I would personally, if I could give some feedback to Adobe, the, the thing that I actually do find a little annoying is once you're stuck in these modules, so you see in the top right corner, there's that little blue thing. So you could enable it 
once you're kind of stuck in here, you can't actually really click anything else. So let's say I'm accidentally stuck here in the uh, adding different presets. So the matte preset, the punchy detail preset, whatever it may be. I'd have to go all the way to the bottom right corner where it says done in order to get out of this module. I can't click the, the share button in the top right corner. So I had to click done and then I could click share. So that's a little bit annoying. And also in terms of a user, all the stuff in the bottom right corner, I don't see any of this stuff by default, like these tags, this image information. And also, I don't know, like maybe if you could pinch in to zoom back to go back instead of having to press all the way top left in this corner here, that's a little bit annoying. But ultimately, I really love it is in the top right corner here, you click page. And also a dope thing about the future of Adobe Creative Cloud is all your pictures are synced and backed up, which is actually makes life a little bit uh, much easier. So m many of you guys might be wondering, you know, is it worth like the 10 bucks or whatever a month? I personally think it is. It's like the price of like freaking two almond milk cappuccinos. It's not really a big deal. And anything that could help simplify your photo process, I think it's a good thing. And also even for me personally now on my desktop, I have the Adobe Creative Cloud or Adobe Lightroom CC Classic, which is the Lightroom we all know and love. It's starting to look a little bit like a dinosaur and it's pretty, pretty slow. I actually find the new uh, Adobe Lightroom CC, which works for iPad, your phone, also your, your laptop. It's a lot more simple and streamlined and fast. And I see this is, is essentially going to be the future of photography. And big ups to Adobe for making such a great product. Whoever is working on the Lightroom team, I think you guys are probably going to get a lot of hate, but I think it's, it's pretty dope. Uh, I plan on using a little bit more to experiment essentially to see how it's going to simplify my life, simplify my workflow. But so far, I'm, I'm a pretty big fan. And it's, let's see, tongue was in. Okay, I, I'd probably never use that. But, any, but just advice to anyone making an app or whatever, just simple is best, simple is beautiful, simple is dope. So yeah, thanks a lot for watching, guys. If you want to learn more about the Eric Kims, go on the Safaris, search Eric Kim blog, go to the blog and find lots of cool stuff here. All right. Thanks for a lot for watching guys. Peace out.